I just made you even bigger. I don't know how that happened. This is great. This is gonna make it look <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Empower, and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. And today I have a special guest. Her name is Rona. She's from the YouTube channel, Hey Rona. And I am so excited because she said that she would come on here and answer a few questions for us. So thank you so much, Rona, for coming on my uh, YouTube channel. So really excited to have you. So much for having oh, me. My pleasure. So um, we're going to have her channel below so you can check her out. Make sure you subscribe to her channel. But I cannot wait to get into these questions because I cannot wait to hear her answers. So the first question is, what are your top tips for succeeding in nursing school? Okay, so my biggest tip for anyone in nursing school right now is to please stay organized as much as possible. I didn't like to do it, but I forced myself to get a calendar, write down all my dates, like immunizations, deadlines for exams. Um, what else did we have? Like, it seems like a papers, blur now. <laughs> like, did you say research papers? There's, yeah, research yeah. papers. I remember we had to do tons of those in like the APA format, like Put all your due dates on a calendar and make sure that you let your family members know, hey, I have a tough exam coming up, you know, I really need the house to be quiet, or if you're going to go to the library, make sure that you're, you're really just staying organized with all your paperwork or having, you know, phone contacts from your classmates, your friends, letting them know, like, hey, library, this time, let's go study for the exam. So just please stay organized as much as possible. It's so important. Yeah, one thing actually that I wanted to kind of add to that is, yeah. so I, um, when I was in nursing school, I felt like it was all encompassing, and I felt like there was so little time to do everything, and it was really hard to be social too, and so one thing that I actually did, which helped me out a lot, just kind of clear my mind, was I put on my calendar every time I spoke with my friends, or spent time with my family, and so like having it there, knowing that I did that, like that helped out a lot, so I kind of, I recommend that, because it makes me feel like more balanced, even though. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. So the next question was, how was the inputs? I know you had. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. But I am like. Okay. Let me, let me just let me just say this though before we talk about your experience, Rana. I am so thankful for the video that you made. I know that must have been so hard. Like it must have been so hard, and you had so much guts. To, to, to do that, like, I honestly, I don't know if I could have done it. Like, I guess you never know until you're in that situation. I really commend you for doing that. You were really honest. You were really, it was just so beautiful. Like, when I saw that video, like, honestly, guys, like, you have to watch the video. We're going to put a link somewhere, like, below or wherever. But you have to watch that video. It's, I really fell in love with her at that moment. I really hope you guys do, too, because you can see that this was a hard video for her to make. She didn't do it because... She was proud to do it. She did it because she felt like it was the right thing to do. And I get so many emails from people that have been in a similar situation. And um, I just, I want to thank you for making that video. So, so much. You're going to make so. me cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so I'm actually, I, want, I want you to, to talk about your experience too. Um, and maybe the process uh, that led you up to making the video and taking yeah. the exam. And Well, like. When I started studying for the second time, you know, after I cried my eyes out, I just, you know, like reached out to my family saying, I failed. This is what happened. And we were all in shock. Like, we were like, wait, what? How yeah. did this happen? And so, yeah. you know, going through all the Kubler Ross stages, I finally came to like acceptance. I'm like, okay, this is what happened. I got to move on. I got to stay strong and I have to pass it. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts. Failure is not an option. I can do this. And my mom is, like, my biggest supporter, my biggest cheerleader. She is, like, my rock. So she really just inspired me and sent me beautiful text messages because she was at work at the time. And so she just really, like, lifted me up. And so I said, you know what? I'm not alone in this. I mean, you know, when we're going through our pains, our troubles, things that, you know, life just brings at us, we always think that we're alone. And we're not, you know, if you're going through something, reach out to someone because you're not alone. And yeah, so absolutely. when I made that video, like that morning, I cried. I was about to not make that video, like crying my eyes out, like, okay, I got to reapply that concealer. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I wasn't even sure if I was going to record that because 
I felt embarrassed. I felt like I'm a failure, you know, again, all those bad thoughts coming into my mind. But then I said, you know what? I'm not alone. There's others that have failed the NCLEX and we got to talk. We got to keep the conversation going and we got to encourage each other that, hey, we're all going to fall short sometimes. We're all going to fall down. But as long as we could share that with each other, we could lift each other up again. So, yeah. Well, thank you yeah. again for making that video and for being yeah. so so vulnerable. Honestly, it was, it yeah. was it's really I I'm, I know that that video has helped a lot of people. So, and I hope that it helps all of my yeah. subscribers too, which I'm sure they probably already know you. But <laughs> <laughs> thanks, okay. Caroline. Yeah, so of course. So this oh. last question is: What is it like being a nurse now? <laughs> it's awesome. I mean. Okay, I love the aspect of patient care, like talking to people, hearing their stories, getting that interaction. It's like, I think as a nurse, you crave it, you want it, yeah. you want to have that experience where you get to know someone. At the end of the day, you're like, okay, take care, take care of your family, you know exactly where they're going. And it just, it's so rewarding to me as a nurse to get that from people a lot. And then the other side of it is, the challenge. Every day you're waking up to something new. You're waking up to a challenge, really. That's that's basically what it is. And like you said, yeah. you know, every day you're going to learn something. Every yeah. day you're going to have a new doctor's order and that's a learning experience. You're going to look up a medication, you're going to learn it and then the next time the doctor orders it, you're like, "Oh, I remember yeah. that. All right, cool. You know, I can explain this to my patient." So, yeah. I think that there's no two days that are ever going to look the same. But every day, it's a learning experience. Good or bad, yeah. it's a learning experience, okay? <laughs> so remember, those bad days, you're going to learn something new from them. And every time I came home from a bad day, I'm like, okay, what am I going to reflect on tonight? What did I learn today? And trust me, you're going to turn that negative situation into a positive one, and you're going to sleep better at night. You're going to say, you know what? Anytime this happens again, I'm going to know how to handle it. So as a nurse, you got to you know, roll with the punches, good or bad. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I love that you said that, that you're going to turn this negative into a positive. So yeah. I feel like that's what you did with that, that video. You turned that negative into the positive. In nursing, you yeah. have so many opportunities to turn negatives into positives. So I'm really yeah. glad that you said that. Wow. So thank you again so much for joining my channel and for spending time with me on a Saturday afternoon. And anyways, <laughs> <I'm>, yeah. <laughs> so guys, make sure you check out her channel if you don't already know her. And if you're not already subscribed to her, make sure you subscribe to her channel. She's amazing. So all right, guys, we love you so much. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>